On June 12th, I found myself in the Texas Panhandle. I stopped for lunch and was checking data in Boise City in the Oklahoma Panhandle, along with the entire Vortex 2 Armada when storms went up to my south. I wound up core punching the storm from the north and getting in front of it here. I hit a little hail, but nothing severe. I met up with Chaser Bard Comstock a few minutes after this, and he had a gaping hole in his windshield from some 5 inch hail that he ran into. This storm was tornado worn just before I was able to intercept it, and some chasers reported a brief dust roll type tornado underneath. It appeared now, though, that as soon as I had arrived, the storm was going to gust out and stay outflow dominant. This wound up pretty much being the case, despite the storm retaining its tornado warning for much of its life. I was able to get several nice shelf cloud and gust front time lapse sequences out of this chase, though. You can see a very well-defined precipitation core here spreading out from underneath this storm. There's Bart Comstock in his chase vehicle. We had a little chaser convergence here, and I met up with about a dozen different chasers from all over the country. There's some scud being ejected from the storm's outflow. At this point, storms had spread out into a very long, linear-looking line. You can see what may be a roll cloud being kicked up here. Here's a big whale's mouth type gust front fanning out from underneath the storm as we head out east to keep ahead of it. Vortex 2 is picking up some rotation in this feature behind us. It looked like it was a new updraft base attempting to form, or perhaps a very scuddy looking wall cloud. I wasn't too impressed with the structure on it, or the radar, but I kept an eye on it. I met up with fellow convective addiction storm chaser Jesse Risley and his friend here and we wound up teaming up for the rest of the chase. There's some neat opposing motion here as the foreground cumulus moves northwest into the storm and the gust front in the background fans out to the east. Looking south here you can see a big shelf cloud fanning out to get us. We had another chaser convergence here and I let the storm swallow us as the shelf cloud moved overhead. There's lots of churning and rolling motion on the back end of it where the cold downdraft is pushing it out. north here now as we're being swallowed by the whale's mouth. I was pretty convinced that we weren't going to see a tornado now at this point, so we decided to run east and get out ahead of the storm for some more shelf cloud shots before we headed into Perryton, Texas for some dinner.